started as a painter and became interested in the edges of the painting and how things are framed. So I started to use things that were not rectangular on the wall and the negative space between them became important. And then stepped off the wall onto the floor and then through the wall. So I exploring the structure of architecture that contains things. That's a kind of short way to kind of describe a long move and journey to the work that I'm making here, bracketed by the architecture. Well, the shapes, in some instances, they're coherent across the, fair, the four corners. The lines of color will carry over and match up. And in other instances, they are not. So there's a kind of rational structure that's broken. Sometimes it's irrational. So in relationship to the city, the color jam piece, the colors are both at odds with the local color that supports them, the color of the ground and the buildings, but also woven together with those colors and resonant with them. So the red of the brick is dynamic with its complement, the green paint. And then the title color jam, it's evocative of the way the work is jammed into the space in a way. It also, of course, refers to improvisation in music, jamming. There isn't one right way to see the work. It's not made from, with a, a single point of view in mind. You don't know where the edges are and a kind of destabilizing effect about the, the work being coherent. And I really like that back and forth. I mean, generally, I'm interested in the relationship of a kind of looking at pictures. A picture is just divorced from you. It's over there and you're over here. And the relationship of the body and space to colors and forms and having those experiences kind of go back and forth.